tomorrow morning got sucked dry. We are right on time. It is 12.01. We found a Rosie. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to a day in the life of a small business. Welcome, guys, to our small business video. We are the owners and employees. My name is Emily. My name's Amanda. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. For those of you that have been following us for a while, you guys know what we do. But for the new people here, and you guys are wondering, well, what is your small business? The bulk of it is that we film, edit, and produce educational boat handling and fishing videos. And our goal for all these videos is to educate, explain, and entertain. Now that is what the forefront of what you all see. Something I wanna say is we do it on our own. We are, we are the cameraman, we are the producer, we are the editor, we do all of it we on our the, own. The captain, the captain, the, the fisherman, fisherman, the mate, we do it all. And along with the forefront having those videos, we have a clothing line of performance gear. So we have performance shirts that sun protection offer shirts. sun protection shirts with some cool artwork on them. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats. We also have buffs or face shields, whatever you like to call them. And on top of it, we have a boat to maintain. Our boat, guys, is 15 years old. Actually, probably more than 15 now. We're We've been saying 15 years for like three years. It's a 2005. Oh, no, it's not 15 oh. years. We're at 15 years, guys. Exactly 15 years. Our boat is 15 years old, which makes it a project all the time. And that boat is what allows us to go out and film these videos. So we're always maintaining our boat. And then on top of it all, we have emails to answer, messages to answer, and we work with some companies occasionally. So we're always, always working. What we want to accomplish for this video is to show you a day in the life. However, today is Monday and every day this week is gonna be completely different. So we're probably gonna take about the next three days and accumulate a video of what our day in the life is like, but it's really gonna be like three days? It's three days. Today is Monday morning. You guys know that we fish frequently in the Keys. So we were in the Keys this past week with our family for the holidays. We actually had family in town from Chicago. We did some filming. We did some filming and we are now on our way back to Fort Lauderdale to our apartment. Our boat has been at Boathouse Marine Center getting some maintenance done. So we're on our way back, but before we head back home, we have a ton of inventory and orders. We're at the post office right now. So we're gonna show you the orders we have and well, we carry our inventory everywhere with us. Yes, yeah, so our inventory but is in the bed in the of the truck. truck. And it's actually not that much right now, thankfully, but we're gonna have to restock soon. Oh yes. <laughs> Here is the first pile of orders in the front seat of the truck, but that is not all of it, obviously. Emily has the second pile of orders. Now this- Welcome to the granny cart. Is call the it a granny, cart. granny cart of orders. And this is from the weekend. Today's Monday morning. So we have our biggest- Mondays are always pretty big for the post office. On Monday mornings, the there is post office. We're gonna take our granny cart over and get these orders shipped out to you all. And you wanna see the inventory. Da, da, da. Here is our inventory. Now you can see the boxes go all the way to the back. And, and this isn't even all of it, guys. We have some more in the cab. We travel with our inventory because we don't ever want to be somewhere and not be able to fill an order. Where's that one going? Oh, this one is going to North Carolina. We have, this is, this one actually needs to get something fixed on it. And this one's going to Texas. And this last one actually has to come back home with us because they asked for a size change. We are going to make our pit stop at the post office, our pit stop. We just were at the post office, Amanda. You're gonna make our pit stop, stop at UPS. And then we are gonna head all the way home. We are actually gonna stop at our parents' house to grab our cats because they have been cat sitting for us. So we are gonna go pick up our cats or our children, you could say, throw them in the truck and then head back home to our place.
it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's Reptile. And there's Rover. Rover doesn't like car rides. I'm at a red light, guys, so no worries. This here is Rover. Rover hates car rides. He usually sits in my lap and looks out the window and just meows the whole time. But it's okay, Rover. It's not that far. We're almost home. And this is Reptile. Reptile likes to sit right here. And he's usually fine in the car. You're doing good. We're almost home. Almost home. You excited? Kitty's excited? It's dinner time. Come on. Come on. Time to eat. Time to eat. Yeah. There you go. You're home. Sorry, it wasn't so bad. This is our office. Guys, we are home. We're at our office. This is our office. It is. Here it is. It's our kitchen table. It's. We don't eat here though. We eat on the couch. Yes, we eat on um, the couch. <laughs> it is pretty messy right now. It kind of always looks like this. We really try to keep it up, keep it up, keep it picked up. But we store. These are our SD cards. These are projects we're working on. Snapper, Patch Reef, GoPro docking. Um, what's this? Boat, boat run. run. That's. Oh, that's boat run regulator. Wreck fishing regulator, and then obviously, well, <laughs> hopefully that was these, these are our notes, scribble notes, scrap paper. This is what our note, our lists look like. This is this when is, we, um, this is when we edit a video. Edit a video. These are the notes. We go through it and we take notes on what needs to get fixed, and when it gets crossed off, it means it got fixed. If you see, we have all of our table. It's usually messy, like I said, and the reason why half the stuff is on the floor, if you can peer over oh, here, yes. to see, is because our cat Reptile, he likes to lay right here. And he will lay and push everything off the table. Just doesn't even care. Everything goes off the table. So this is our table. This is where we work. And I will show you one of the projects we're working on. This is our program. This is episode three of our regulator video. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. And this is what I will be working on. By the time you guys watch this video, this will have aired. But this is what we work on. Today, since it was a travel day, we lose a lot of time. So we'll probably work from now until seven o'clock tonight but sometimes we're on our computer working till 10 or later 11. it just depends on the day it depends how early we have to get up depends how early we have to get up tomorrow we do have to get up early um and we have emails to answer too so that's what the rest of the day is going to be it's going to be an office day a computer day busy work answer emails right now we have 45 unread emails it is like that every day so yeah guys just so you know we promise you we do our very best to, to get back to you quickly but we get literally probably 45 a day we had all of our emails, 45 answered emails a day and on friday and today's yes. Monday. So over the weekend, yes. we got 45 emails. And that doesn't include DMs or anything like that. Yeah. So that is what our work day looks like. That's what a travel day looks like for us. We normally spend a lot of time in the car, grabbing cats, all that stuff. And inventory, then post office. Inventory, post office, computer, editing, emails, um, dumping files, whatever. That's what this day, that's what one day looks like. So. We will tune in with you guys tomorrow morning where we are going to be picking our boat up because it has been getting some work done and we're going to pick our boat up and we will, tomorrow is going to be more of um, an on the water day and today was more of a travel office day. Good morning. It is day two of our day in the life video. It is 545 in the morning and guess where we're going? The gym. We're going to the gym. Um, that's something that we always like to do. Sometimes it's in the morning, sometimes it's in the afternoon, but last night we were able to go to bed a little bit early, so we decided to go in the morning. We usually only go on mornings that we're not fishing. Yes, if we're fishing, we won't go, but today we are gonna be going to pick up our boat from Boathouse Marine Center, and then we're gonna run some errands, and we're actually going to West Marine. We do have a full day ahead of us, and but first we're gonna start with the gym. Our morning got sucked dry. <laughs> sucked dry? Well, kind of. <laughs> okay, so we went to the gym. You guys obviously saw us do that. And then we came back to our apartment and we had some really important emails that showed up. And it was like, wow, we gotta get those answered. The original- We were hoping to be picking up this boat at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. And we didn't leave our apartment until- Almost 10. It was, yeah, it was almost 10. The plan was to pick up the boat at eight and then go film a quick video. And then this afternoon, we actually have to go to West Marine, but it's actually already 1130. So the video is out the window and we have to be flexible. But and in all seriousness, plans. this type of situation and rescheduling happens all, all the, the time. time. So we had a plan and we were gonna stick to it and we always stick to our plans when we can. When we can't, 
well, we figured it out. Just gotta roll with it. So right now, so we basically, we spent the morning on our computers while Amanda answered some important emails. I made sure I worked on some editing videos. And then we came over to Boathouse. Boathouse Marine in Pompano is our marina that we use. And we are driving away now with a wonderful, ready to go steering. Steering that is better, much, much, much better. Now this is a 15 year old boat and the steering was so stiff, I literally needed two hands to turn the wheel. Yep. Um, I'm looking forward to the day where we switch to electronic everything, but yep. that day is not right now. That is okay. <laughs> so it's 11.30 and we are gonna go take the boat back to our slip and then what else are we doing? Well, we might do some filming, some YouTube video filming, uh, depending on what time we get back, but we also got to go to West Marine and we have to have to do some filming there too. We have to so, do some filming at West Marine and... Basically the rest of the day is going to be filming. Well no, and then we have to go home and then yes. we have to air. So tonight oh, yes. we have to premiere one the of YouTube our videos video. and most of our premieres are around 6 or 7 o'clock at night. So we're going to go home, but we'll take you with us. I don't need to get too far ahead of myself. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Ready for one of my favorite features that this boat has. The James Bond feature of the boat. Go. I think it was actually one of a commenter or a subscriber said that. I love the, the electronic hide. Guys, we've actually, this mechanism has protected us from theft. We've had people get on this boat and try to tamper with it and they couldn't get anything because they couldn't open it. So we're super thankful for our James Bond boat. And when we tie up, we obviously put our electronics down. We lock all the hatches that access the batteries and the switches. Turn the batteries off. Turn the batteries off. We lift the motors, trim them up all the way, and we have five dock lines. So we have two spring lines, that, these aren't spring, excuse me, two stern lines, and they cross each other, which helps you stay in the middle of the slip, and also stops your boat from traveling too far into the canal, which is really never an issue here because there's a building on the other side. But we have been in marinas where you will get a wind at your stern, and that will push you into the canal if you don't have your transom lines tied correctly. Then we have a spring line. This spring line stops us from hitting that big concrete wall behind us and two bow lines which keep us in the middle of the slip. And you can, if you want, put another spring line on this side, which we really don't need it here, but there are some situations you might. And the most important step is plug the boat in, get those batteries charging. It's always a good idea to do that. It's five o'clock. <laughs> and we just got home. We just got home from filming at West Marine. It took longer than we anticipated just because we're very thorough it sounds like the cats are hungry he's and rover rover hi he's hungry he wants dinner here's reptile at this point we have to dump all of our files onto our hard drives and there are certain videos that absolutely have to get finished tonight and it's five o'clock so i have a feeling it's going to be a late night a late night yeah i mean yeah um, yeah, time to get to work and feed the cats dinner. Good morning, everybody. Today is day three. Last night, we sat on our computers until nine o'clock editing and working on some videos, and then we went straight to bed. Today, we were lucky enough to sleep in until 7 a.m., and we spent the last hour editing some more videos, and now we're actually going to go to the car dealership because Emily got rear-ended. Oh, how long was you get rear-ended? Um, like a month ago. About a month ago, I actually got in a car accident. I was rear-ended on the highway going pretty much highway speed. I think I was going around 70. And I came up on a cars in front of me that were at a standstill. I stopped in time, thankfully, but the car behind me did not stop in time and they rear-ended me. Thankfully, everybody's okay. Nobody was seriously injured, but because of that, the car needs to get taken in. Yes. It, it's still, drives but it makes a really makes a really weird, weird noise. noise and thankfully we have two cars yes, we so have our truck that you we have our see. truck and then we have our second car so we're gonna go take our second car to go get fixed and then from there we're gonna go spend the afternoon fishing fishing and filming making a fishing YouTube and video. filming yes obviously our goal is to when we go out fishing we usually try to get two videos when we go out but because we're gonna get a late start because we have to go to the car dealership first or not the dealership the the repair the shop, repair shop. We gotta go to the repair shop first 
we will probably get one video in. It's going to be calm today, so we're hoping deep dropping. Deep dropping video, and I don't know if you can hear, but Rover, Rover is, is crying. Roby, he wants to go outside. Rover wants to go on the balcony, but I'm sorry, buddy. Rover loves to go out on the balcony and sit. He's a really good kitty. And, oh, I know. But we're leaving, and we don't like to let him outside and leave the door open when we're not home. So when we get back, we'll put him out on the balcony, and he can smell all the fresh air. And we actually, there's a dog park right downstairs where we live, and he stares at the dogs. It's pretty cute. We are right on time. It is 12.01. We are on our way out to go fishing. Yay, high five. So fishing is definitely one of the very rewarding parts of our job, especially when the bite is good. And then there are days when the bite sucks or it's windy and rough, and it's honestly my least favorite part of the job. It depends on the weather and the bite. So we're out going out fishing. It's 12 o'clock now. We're gonna kind of try to get a half day in. The goal is to get two videos in. The goal is to do a how to deep drop video, how to find a deep drop spot, and the second video is gonna be a how to slow pitch and maybe catch some fish on slow pitch. Now, we always have a goal and a plan, but if for some reason the fishing's slow, then we'll do one video. And then there are days where we go out all day and don't catch anything and we don't get any videos. That happens too sometimes. We're on the boat now and we're gonna head out. We're gonna go film these videos and we will tune in with you when we're done. A black belly rose fish. This is a big oh, guy too. On. Look how big he is. We found a rosy. Check it out, you guys. Well, we sometimes found, we filmed two videos out here today, and the conditions made a turn for the worst. It is so rough out here, and we're trying to get back to our inlet. I literally. So we filmed one video deep dropping, and it was a great success. And then the weather started to get rough, so we said, well, let's film a boat handling video in rough seas. So we did that. We finished that video and then bam, like seas picked up even more. So I literally, I'm going eight knots right now. I literally cannot go faster than 10 knots and we're making our slow crawl back to the inlet. I apologize for the shakiness of this camera, but we thought we'd update you of the behind the scenes of, well, we filmed our two videos while we're out on the water. Now we gotta get home and wow, it's rough out here. Back at the dock. Getting into our slip, which is that one. What time is it? Did it take us to get from the inlet? Let's see. Oh, it's 422. So it took us 20 minutes to get from the inlet to our slip. We still got some more work to do, of course. Clean the boat, clean the fish. You guys want to watch a video on how to back a boat into a slip? Yes, yeah. yes. If you want to see a video on how to back a boat up into a slip, we have one of those. And we also have a video on just how to dock side two if you had that but our slip's kind of tight, but Emily's doing a phenomenal job. This is the tightest corner, but she's got it. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice job. On the throttles and the wheel when needed, but always use your throttles first, that's our advice. I need to grab this spring line for Emily. This is the spring line. Wow, the tide's really low, normally I can always reach this. The two, more, to the two most important dock lines are on for us. That's this stern line that keeps us from swinging into the sailboat and the spring line, which keeps us from hitting the big concrete wall behind us. Once those two are on, the second twin can always step away from the wheel and finish doing the rest. We are home. It's actually already 5.53 and it was so rough and salty today that I am worried about our equipment. So we have GoPros soaking in fresh water. We have bags of rice because I'm telling you, you guys <laughs> didn't see it all, but we got soaked. So I'm taking everything. These are all of our cords. And Where's the mics? Put them in. They're right there. So. Microphones going in. We finished dumping files. I was dumping all the files on my computer till about 7.15 while Amanda was making our latest IGTV video, and I think you, I answered some emails too, right? Did you answer emails, Amanda? I did answer emails. I sent some important emails. Yes, we sent some important emails, 
And then we went to the gym from about, I would say it was 7.30 to 8.30? Yes. Maybe a little later, because it's nine, nine o'clock right now. What? My reminder alarm to post Instagram just went off. <laughs> I try to post every day. I actually already posted though. And now we're sitting in the Olive Garden Park, Olive Garden parking lot waiting for some dinner. Yes, it's actually already it's nine o'clock. It's a to-go food kind of night. We've clearly had a long day, and at this point, I don't feel like cooking. Usually, fishing days are our longest days, even when it's only a half day fishing. So, we decided we are gonna do to go Olive Garden. It's nine o'clock at night. I think you guys know where this video is going. Oh, our food's coming! Our food's coming! Oh, okay. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. It's just, it's just two shrimp alfredos. Two shrimp alfredos and two salads, right? Yep. So it's nine o'clock, we are gonna go home, eat, shower. At this rate, I'm thinking we'll probably get to bed at around 10.30 tonight. And that pretty much summarizes a day in the life of a small business owner. Clearly, you guys see every single day is different. We have days filled with emails and computer work. We have days filled with fishing. We have days filled traveling. We travel a lot, whether it's from Big Pine Key to Fort Lauderdale, or sometimes we're right now we're planning a trip to Tampa. You know, there's always travel days involved too, where we lose a lot of time, but we have to do our best to get our work done. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're really glad you came along and. Go ahead and leave anything in the comments if you have questions about our lives or what we're doing. Or if there's anything else. Or. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> if there's anything else you want to see. Like, if you guys want to see how we edit our videos, if that's something that interests you, let us know. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok.